Mediolanum, the ancient Milan, was originally an Insubrian city, but afterwards became an important Roman city in northern Italy. The city was settled by the Insubers around 600 BC, conquered by the Romans in 222 BC, and developed into a key center of Western Christianity and capital of the Western Roman Empire. It declined under the ravages of the Gothic War, its capture by the Lombards in 569, and their decision to make Ticinum the capital of their Kingdom of Italy. During the Principate the population was 40,000 in 200 AD, when the city became capital of the Western Roman Empire under Emperor Maximian r. 286 the population rose to 100,000 people and thus Milan became one of the largest cities in Roman Italy. History Mediolanum appears to have been founded around 600 BC by the Celtic Insubers, after whom this region of northern Italy was called Insubria. According to the legend reported by Livy, the Gaulish king Ambicadus sent his nephew Belovsis into northern Italy at the head of a party drawn from various Gaulish tribes. This Belovsis was said to have founded Mediolanum in the time of Tarquinius Priscus, according to this legend. The Romans, led by consul Gnaeus Cornelius Scipio Calvus, fought the Insubers and captured the city in 222 BC. The chief of the Insubers submitted to Rome, giving the Romans control of the city. They eventually conquered the entirety of the region, calling the new province Cisalpine Gaul, Gaul this side of the Alps, and may have given the site its Latinized Celtic name, in Gaulish asterisk medio meant, middle, center, and the name element Lanon is the Celtic equivalent of Latin planum. Plain. Thus asterisk Medellinon Latinized as Mediolanum meant settlement in the midst of the plain. Mediolanum was important for its location as a hub in the road network of northern Italy. Polybius describes the country as abounding in wine, and every kind of grain, and in fine wool. Herds of swine, both for public and private supply, were bred in its forests, and the people were well known for their generosity. During the Augustan age, Mediolanum was famous for its schools. It possessed a theatre and an amphitheatre. 129.5 by 109.3 metres. A large stone wall encircled the city in Caesar's time, and later was expanded in the late 3rd century AD by Maximian. Mediolanum was made the seat of the prefect of Liguria Prefectus Liguriae by Hadrian, and Constantine made it the seat of the vicar of Italy Vicarius Italiae. In the 3rd century Mediolanum possessed a mint, a horium and imperial mausoleum. In 259, Roman legions under the command of Emperor Gallienus soundly defeated the Alemanni in the Battle of Mediolanum. In 286 Diocletian moved the capital of the Western Roman Empire from Rome to Mediolanum. He chose to reside at Nicomedia in the Eastern Empire, leaving his colleague Maximian at Milan. Maximian built several gigantic monuments, the large circus 470 by 85 meters, the Thermi or Baths of Hercules, a large complex of imperial palaces and other services and buildings of which fewer visible traces remain. Maximian increased the city area surrounded by a new, larger stone wall about 4.5 kilometers long encompassing an area of 375 acres with many 24-sided towers. The monumental area had twin towers, one that was included in the convent of San Maurizio Maggiore remains 16, 60 meters high. It was from Milan that the Emperor Constantine issued the Edict of Milan in 313 AD, granting tolerance to all religions within the empire, thus paving the way for Christianity to become the dominant religion of the empire. Constantine was in Milan to celebrate the wedding of his sister to the Eastern Emperor, Licinius. There were Christian communities in Mediolanum, which contributed its share of martyrs during the persecutions, but the first bishop of Milan who has a firm historical presence is Maricles, who was at the Council of Rome of 313. In the mid 4th century, the Arian controversy divided the Christians of Mediolanum. Constantius supported Arian bishops, and at times there were rival bishops. Oxentius of Milan died 374, was a respected Arian theologian. At the time of the Bishop St. Ambrose Bishop 374-397, who quelled the Arians, and Emperor Theodosius I, Mediolanum reached the height of its ancient power. The city also possessed a number of basilicas, added in the late 4th century AD. These are San Simpliciano, San Nazaro, San Lorenzo and the Chapel of San Vittori, located in the Basilica of Sant'Ambrogio. 
In general, the late empire encouraged the development of the applied arts in Mediolanum, with ivory and silver work being common in public building projects. In the crypt of the Duomo survive ruins of the ancient church of St. Tecla and the Baptisti where St. Augustine of Hippo was baptized. In 402, the city was besieged by the Goths and the imperial residence was moved to Ravenna. In 452, it was besieged again by Attila, but the real break with its imperial past came in 538, during the Gothic War, when Mediolanum was laid to waste by Uraya, a nephew of Wittages, king of the Goths, with great loss of life. The Lombards took Ticinum as their capital renaming it Papia, hence the modern Pavia, and early medieval Milan was left to be governed by its archbishops. <laughs> Extant structures Some of the monuments of the Roman Mediolanum still to be seen in Milan In the Basilica of S. Ambrogio The Chapel of S. Vittori, with late antique mosaics The so-called Tomb of Stilicho, assembled from a Roman sarcophagus and other material A large collection of inscriptions The Cologne di San Lorenzo, a colonnade in front of the Church of S. Lorenzo Roman lapidary material in the Archie di Porta Nuova the scant remains of a large amphitheater, now in an archaeological park dedicated to their preservation. A tower 16.6 meters high of the circus, now inside the Convento di San Maurizio Maggiore. A bit of Moenia walls and a tower with 24 sides Maximian, 3rd century. The Church of San Lorenzo IVV Sec, and the San Aquilino Chapel. Ruins of the Imperial Palace. Some ruins from the Baths of Hercules, further remains of ceilings and floors are in the Archaeological Museum. The body of St. Ambrose d. 397, and those possibly of S.S. Gervasius and Protasius, or at any rate, of earlier men, found in St. Ambrose's time, are still seen in the crypt of the Church of S. Ambrogio. Crypt of San Giovanni in Conca. A bit of the Moenia and some remnants of pavements in Piazza Missori and in the namesake station of Milan Metro. Topic. See also Milan hashtag history, for the medieval and modern history of Milan Walls of Milan Diocletian Topic. Notes Topic. References Polybius 1889. Histories. London, New York, Macmillan, 1 Thurston Peck, Harry 1898. Harper's Dictionary of Classical Antiquities. New York, Harper and Brothers, 2 MacDonald Stilwell, Richard, McAllister, William L., Holland, Marion 1976. The Princeton Encyclopedia of Classical Sites. Princeton, Princeton University Press. 3 External links Map and some original pics of Mediolanum remains.